So sometimes there are times when you just want to spray on a fragrance regardless of the season, regardless of the occasion. Here we're going to be talking about 10 of the most versatile fragrances in my collection. And these also happen to be fragrances that get me a lot of compliments. I'm super excited to share this list with you, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin this video of 10 of the most versatile fragrances in my collection, and these also happen to be fragrances that get me a lot of compliments, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. Now before I fully dive into the list, also want to mention that if you're interested in purchasing or sampling any of these fragrances, you may do so at Olfactory Factory. NYC. They have a lot of really hard to find niche and designer fragrances for a really good price. You can get samples, you can purchase full bottles. The customer service is really, really good. So with that being said, let's dive into the list. Also subscribe to their mailing list if you can. This way you'll know of special offers in case they run occasional promotions and stuff like that. Now the first fragrance I want to talk about is a designer fragrance and I find this to be among the more versatile fragrances in my collection by Christian Dior. It's Sauvage Parfum. Now Elixir is a little bit on the dark side with the spices and the Eau de Toilette is a little bit on the bright fresher side and it's a type of DNA that I can see being worn in the hotter weather. This one all seasons, all occasions, thus contributing to the versatility. And of course, you know, the Sauvage DNA is one of the most complimented DNAs on the designer side of things. So the number 10 spot is going to go to Sauvage Parfum. Now, when it comes to compliments, you can also afford to wear the Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum. Elixir is a little bit more on the daring side of things. So I would probably just caution you against that. The next fragrance by Eccentric Molecules is called Molecule 01. Happens to be my of the day. It's a fragrance that you can wear when layering with other fragrances. Now it contains Isoe Super, which has a pheromone like effect. And so you can kind of use it as an underbody to increase the longevity of your fragrances. So you spray it on, wait a minute, and then spray on your top coat. Now this fragrance, huge compliment getter. There's just something about it that people pick up on, but it also is a scent that you kind of go get anosmic to after a while. But I'm telling you, if you do just a couple of sprays, you will get noticed and it's going to significantly increase the complement factor of any other fragrance that you decide to wear on that day. Now the same thing can be said about this next one from the house of Inicio Parfum Privé. This one is Magnetic Blend 7. Now this has pheromone musk in it. That's the only note. It's a singular scent. You can layer it with other Inicio fragrances or you can layer it with other fragrances, period. So if you want to add a little more umph to your fragrance, you want to add that musky tonality. This one is very well done and it's a very clean smelling musk, right? Magnetic Blend 1 from the same brand is a little bit on the animalic side of things. I think it contains ambergris. That one is a little bit more challenging. I personally know of some people who love it. This one, very easy to get along with. I personally love it and it's a great fragrance to layer. Now the next fragrance can be a little bit deceiving because people would argue that it's a summertime fragrance and I do agree with that. I think it works beautifully in the summertime but it's so long lasting that I can see this one being worn all year round. This one by Orto Parisi is called Bergamask. So this is bergamot and musk. And take a look at the color of the liquid. This is such a long lasting bergamot fragrance and the freshness lingers for many, many, many hours, which is super impressive. One of my favorites from this brand, Seminalis is another great one. There's an aquatic one from the brand that I really enjoy as well. But this one is incredibly versatile. And yes, I've actually gotten a few compliments from it too. Now this next fragrance is probably the most complimented fragrance from this brand. I've receive compliments from co-workers, friends. My wife loves this one by Parfum de Marly. This is Percival. Lavender, citrus, it has this modern fougere feel to it. A little bit of musk, a little bit of like a minty touch to it as well. Very sort of breathtaking in terms of its appeal in the opening. I personally love Percival, like a young, modern, professional, elegant gentleman. That's what it smells like. The next fragrance is also a citrus-based fragrance. Love wearing this one in the summertime. One of my favorites for the summertime, but if you're wearing it in a climate-controlled environment, 
It's incredibly versatile. You can wear it all year round. It's fun, it's carefree, it's lighthearted, but it can also be refined and professional. By Royal Crown, this one is called Celebration, which is why I say if you are going to you know, check this one out to any degree, sample first, right? You don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars and then you find out it doesn't work with your skin chemistry and stuff like that. So great fragrance available at Olfactory Factory. The next fragrance is another summer amazing fragrance. And of course, you'll see that there's a bit of a theme here. These are fragrances that are typically on the lighter side of things in terms of the DNA, but in terms of the longevity, they all do incredibly well and they last a long time. This one by Raja Parfum is called Oceania. This is an amazing, clean, white floral fragrance with abundant citrus in the opening. Very lively, very enthusiastic. One of my favorites from the brand. And then we have another citrus-based fragrance that is incredibly refined. And it also has the note of cardamom in here. So the cardamom adds that professionalism, but it also adds that unique, quirky quality that I think is going to make people compliment you because I know personally when I've worn this one to work, I've received a lot of compliments with this one. And by Zerjoff, this is called Neo. Also happens to be my scent of the day today. I'm actually layering Molecule 01 with Zerjoff Neo and the effect is amazing. If you have the opportunity to try that layering combination, I'm telling you, you are gonna get noticed, you're gonna turn heads, and I personally love the effect that it achieves. Now, the next two happen to come from the same brand, and for the purposes of not making this number one, I'm not gonna make it number one. I'm gonna make it number two, and by Creed, it's Aventus. Everybody knows the compliment factor of Aventus. Yes, granted, it is a polarizing fragrance. Some people love it, some people hate it, but there's no denying the fact that Creed Aventus is my most complimented niche fragrance, and it's also incredibly versatile. It can work well in the colder weather because of the darker tonalities, the birch tar, which adds an element of smoke. It can also work in the hotter weather, especially if you're indoors, the citrus, that tart quality of the pineapple, the apple, the burger, from Italy. A lot of really wonderful ingredients happening in here. And there's another fragrance that I actually received a lot of compliments with lately. I was a bit surprised because I hadn't worn this one for a few months and then I wore it again to work because it has this very refined quality on account of the citrus in here. And I actually had a woman smell it, one of my female colleagues, and she said, this is what a real man smells like. And so she's into fragrances, her husband is into fragrances, but she admitted that this is her idea of what a real man should smell like. And I have gotten a lot of compliments with this one, more so than the original, because this is actually a flanker. So, of course, by Creed, this is Viking Cologne. I was really, really surprised, because Viking, very bright with the mint. It kind of does have an old school feel. This one takes it more in the direction of like Terre d'Hermes, in terms of the citrus that's in here. But let me tell you something, clean, elegant, professional, executive CEO kind of a vibe, and I've gotten complimented on it many, many times, and it's also very versatile. I personally prefer to wear it in the hotter weather, but again, this is a very elegant work office type of a scent, and so this is one that I can see myself wearing to work realistically all year long. So there you have it, ladies and gents, 10 incredibly versatile fragrances with a high compliment factor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what fragrances do you consider to be very, very versatile that also do very well for you in terms of compliments. Leave your comment down below. Always love the interaction. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership and your support. It means a lot to me. Subscribe to the channel. If you took something of value from this video, hit the bell so that you can be notified on future uploads and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.